All right, Bacon Man is back and on another attack with this game I've been wanting to get around to continuing for some time, Sonic Generations. Now, due to a little technical setback, Ted will not be joining me anymore. He kind of got himself kicked out of my place. So, I'm going to run through some ranking attack times, some ranking attack runs myself playing Sonic Generations. In my opinion, Generations is the funnest Sonic game they have had since Sonic CD or anything in the Genesis era. There's something like in the physics, the level design, everything just works. It's like... So oh, okay, that's going to kill my run a little bit. That's going to kill my run a lot. That's going to absolutely throttle my run since it's a total detour. Okay. That's going to make it up. See, I'm still, I'm still 11 seconds behind my record time. So it's probably going to be the difference with, yep, there we go, that's going to do it. That'll be the difference between me breaking a minute and not. See, look, there's like five seconds right there. <coughs> wow, that was terrible. Almost a minute, 15? Ugh. Down like 20 seconds there. Yes, now it's going to bring up my record run. Which a lot of people are really good at Green Hill Zone. It shouldn't surprise you that I can do this. Anyone can do that. See, yeah, I've got like a thousand people ahead of my time. This is 5489. But now going to probably my favorite level in the whole dang game. Just because of its awesome music. The Chemical Plant Zone. I'm really close to breaking a minute here, but can't quite seem to break that one little freaking barrier. I don't know what it is in my execution that's just <laughs> barely off enough. It could be that. Oh man, come on. Okay, I dropped about 30 seconds there that I didn't need to. Wow, what the heck is with me today? <laughs> Must be the Let's Play curse. We got four seconds. Oh. The bad thing about being good at this level, I don't get to hear near enough of its cool background music. It's like the perfect song. Cash Cash was way ahead of his time with this stuff. Yeah, the Act 2 reinterpretation of it's really catchy too. Although, admittedly, like, they just both have this very different, very special vibe about them. It's probably the best background music in the whole game. I kind of wish they would pop Hydrosity in the game, too, but I could see where with Chemical Plant that's kind of redundant. And between the two of them, I would take Chemical Plant anyways. <laughs> oh, but Hydrosity Zone, how I miss you. All the recent games have had some sort of homage to it, though. Ah. Sonic Gen's having a part of, uh, what was it? C Seaside Hill, that plays like it. Episode 1 had, uh, had that second act of Mad Gear Zone, was it? No, second act of Labyrinth Zone. The Wall of Death 
No, that was Mad Gear Zone. And then Episode 2, that first castle stage, I don't even know what it's called yet. I need to get Episode 2 pretty soon. For, for what it is, Sonic 2 is pretty good. But it just seems to lack the intensity and scale that Sonic Generations captures in its level design. Like this, I mean, you're supposed to spin dash and fly amazing lengths in these stages. In Sonic 4 at 2, it, it seems your velocity is way more limited. Either that or I'm just not playing the game right. Oh man, I am totally off the ball here today. Look at that, almost 10 seconds. Oh, and I didn't even get up there. You know what, I'm going to do a start over there. I'm going to call foul ball. That's just, no. No, Sonic. That, uh, I, I do that a lot. That one. Er. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna start that over too. <laughs> what the heck? I've gotten rusty at my Sonic. I've gotten gotten rusty at my DDR. <sighs> when did I start sucking at everything? Oh, come on, come on, no, no, no! Oh well, I can make that up, I can make that up, I can make that up. No, that's like plus 10 seconds, I can't make that up. Why can I? Sky Sanctuary is one of the first levels that trips up players. <laughs> I love how it splits up into like three completely different sub-levels that can all interplay a little bit with each other. Just freaking ingenious level design. Also, first real test of proficiency. Oh, come on. Come on. Really? Dude. You effing kidding me. You fiddly farted like 12 seconds right there. I went from like record run time to just... What was that? You see, there's one of those beautiful touches of level design. Who thinks to do that? Of all the options to go through in the level, who thinks to do what I just did? Unless, you can, unless you've seen it. It took me forever to find this route. I was always stuck at like three minute times. until I stumbled upon this route. See, and look at that. That drops a whole minute off of that time there. See, that's how you get two minutes on this. Or less if you don't bumble around a jump for like 12 seconds. Big blue. I know you're better than that. I know I'm better than that. Uh, yeah, 204.28 was that run. My best. Being... 
being minute 51. There's you know, a few hundred better than me there. Of course, with no level breaking glitches and stuff. <sighs> I've only found a couple level breakers, and they're not really things that work in the positive most of the time. Now, there's a part of Crisis City Act 2 that I end up with a bad perspective on sometimes. That I have, I can't see anything I'm doing because the back, what would normally be the background, is completely in the way of everything I'm doing. Speed Highway, a lot of it is just about being gutsy. And a lot of suspicious time jumps. And this next part is a little hard to hit. Aw oh, man, I missed it. And I missed that too. Oh well, it's not the breaker. There's a little bit of a detour. But it's just more like a tomato tomato different path. It's not like one is explicitly quicker than the other. See? This one's only like 0.12%. Not even two tenths of a second behind my usual. Or my good time. Crap. That's the only annoying part of this level. That jump right there. It can make or break your whole freaking run. Because look, what that's like, what, 20 seconds I lost. Just recouping that one jump. Oh, man. Yeah, that's the whole running down the side of the building part for 2D Sonic. That whole two seconds of running down the building. Yeah, and a shortcut just drops straight down there. At 217. If it weren't for missing that one jump, I'd have broke two minutes there, too. <sighs> Sonic, Sonic, Sonic. What am I going to do with you? What am I going to do with you? Pow. 217.47. Far from my best. Some of these speedrunners are just insane. Yeah, minute 50 is my best. So yeah, shave. Wow. I almost lost 30 seconds there somewhere. Alright, one more. The second real test of the gameplay. City Escape. Yes, everyone's next favorite level. Yeah, I think the song's a little cheesy, but it's not bad. The classic remake of it's understandably. 50. Oh, hey. Okay, that's a lot longer than I usually. Okay. Just now. Now. Oh, come on. Oh, really? Eight seconds. Well, I'm not going to get a record run this time. 
that in the later half of this is just really ridiculous to try and make up. Jumped a little early there. Yep, and these bad nicks are already in the way and oh crap, are you kidding me? Yeah, no. That was embarrassingly bad. Okay, yeah, let's just zip right by that stuff. Okay. Well, you know what? At least we can make it up here, kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Really? Oh. Nope. Just nope. See, this is what son real Sonic speedruns look like. I know you used to seeing players just zip through the levels incredibly gracefully, and it's, it's never that graceful. It takes a lot of restarts to make these actually happen. The only difference is I'm not cutting my restarts. Oh. That was a mistake. It can be made up. Now jump. Okay, not quite high enough to make it up there. And about 30 seconds is acceptable at this point. Good players will get there in about 25. Me, I'm clearly off my game. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm going to hit that and just come to a complete stop. Okay, that. Here, you have got to get this going fast. Especially getting up to here. If you don't get this, and the first or second shots, you're not going to make that. Oh, crap. I just missed the jump. I just screwed this whole up. Oh, man. I am so off my game. Wow. That's just... Where did my jump button go? I don't know why that is not making that jump anymore. The game hasn't patched. That usually gets me right up there. Okay, so I'm six seconds behind. See, 25 is a good run, 30 is an acceptable run. This time I'm just gonna go with the spring. I'm not even gonna let this screw me up this time. There we go. See, if you're under a minute here, you're doing pretty decent. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Yeah, this is just gone. Oh, my God. I cannot believe that. Ah. Oh. Really? Wow! I think I need to escape from this. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. 
think this is not a bad. No, are you kidding me? Just call this video Bacon Man Screws Up at City Escape Act 1 a lot. Uh, So whatever they've done with this engine, even even with the three levels, they, we we need more generations. Uh, probably the best, most complete Sonic experience a person can have. Now I will admit, I played 2D Sonic. Quite a bit better than I play 3D Sonic. No matter how well I seem to execute, I could never seem to break two minutes on any of the Act 2 levels. Fudge Knuckles. There we go. Now we're cooking. Do not jump on that third landing, or you will miss that ramp. Oh, are you kidding? Now, spin, dash, jump, jump, jump. On that part. And yeah, as long as you jump before. Oh no! No freaking way! No! As long as you jump before those things drop, you're usually okay. Oh my god, I cannot believe I just blew that! Oh! I was right there. Oh, of all the stupid ways to blow that level. <sighs> 209.68 there. It only cost me about five to ten seconds, but still, that's it. it I could have broke two minutes there. Just, that's that's generally where I hold my goals is like breaking most of these levels in two minutes. My best is 150.07. Puts me at 506th place, you know, being almost the 500th best player in the world. Yeah, I'm not going to complain at that, but oh wow. That run was just embarrassing. Well, I guess that'll do it for the first half of the game, and we'll be back with the second half later. This is Bacon Man, signing out.